Hey guys, here's how we can repopulate our Easy Worship database since the last one was corrupted. Um, if we were looking for songs, we should try to find an old schedule that they're in. In this case, I'll go to one of our old uh, archive Sunday services. Let's find something back in uh, the end of 2000, maybe the beginning of 2014, maybe 216. We'll look at that. Pull up the Sunday service. 2000 uh, 2016 no, it's 2016 13 it doesn't matter anyhow we'll pull that one up and it looks like there's some songs that love came down that we don't have yet when we're a so have a select a song that isn't in our database it'll have this option right here insert add this song and then apply to all insert songs and that'll capture all the songs that were in this list uh, for this PowerPoint, if we want some PowerPoints that are in there, say, uh, I guess the only one that's in there at this point, maybe the offering or generosity, that kind of thing, but let's say we want the scrolling announcements to be in there, we can import those as well um, as a PowerPoint resource and click Apply to all PowerPoint resources. Um, the same thing is with some images. Say we want to get this Connect Track 301 today, we can import that one or if we want small groups and this third Thursday this week to also be available we can apply that to all images and if there were a video that we would want to do in here I think we could do the same kind of thing there's no video in this set though I imagine we can do the same thing and then once we've done that applied it to all the images we want and we do finish and that brings those resources the media resources into the media bin and the song ones into the bins. So in other words, if we have one thing remains there, it's now in our back in our songs. So if we do that for a while and uh, find some of the old songs we did and find some of the sets we did, I think we'll be able to gain back most of what we did. All right, I hope that helps.